Hi everyone, it's Whitney with Spiral 16. We're back this week with another video interview with someone who works in social media. This week we're going north to Chicago. Last week we talked to someone from Cerner, which is a company of about 7,500. This week we're talking to someone from Green City Market, which is a company of about four people. We're going to meet my good friend, Laura Watkins, who is the Director of Marketing and Communications. Okay, we're here with Laura Watkins, who, with full disclosure, has been a friend of mine for years and years. Laura, <laughs> welcome to the Spiral 16 website. Um, why don't you tell us uh, who you are, what you do, where you work for? Okay. Uh, well, my name is Laura Watkins, of course, um, and I work for Green City Market, which is a nonprofit organization in the Chicago area. Um, it provides a venue for farmers to sell their product, but we also do educational programming and special events. Um, and I work as the marketing and communications coordinator and I've been there since mid-April. All right, well, you guys are a small organization, right? Yeah. We previously talked to Cerner Corporation, which has about 7,500 employees. How many people are employed at Green City Market? Well, we have four employees and then an employee that we share with the city of Chicago. So five all together. Um, we also have a board and volunteers, but if we're talking full-time, it's a very small organization. Okay. Um, and you guys make your money mostly off of donations and right. do your, do your um, vendors pay to participate? There is a small fee for vendors to participate. Um, it's really not very much, and it's a great deal for those vendors because they make it over and over again. It's about $25 a market, and if you're pulling in thousands, that's not a big deal. We make our money off of donations, memberships, and grants, um, and we have a few sponsorships here and there, but they're not, that's not where we make most of our money. Okay, um, well, you just started there, and uh, took, right. took over in April. Um, yep. Talk to me about how, as a very small company, um, you guys are using social media to promote the market. Okay, well, we don't have a very big, um, operating budget it's about four hundred thousand dollars so we don't have money for advertising so that's not an option for us um, and that means for us that social media is really the best way for us to promote our organization um, I think that a lot of nonprofits are turning to that right now because nonprofits are really struggling in this economy um, it's definitely the best venue for us it's very cost efficient in that it doesn't take much time to maintain or create a social media site like Twitter or, fa or a Facebook page, um, but just the rewards are endless. We've promoted events through there, we've promoted our individual farmers through there. Um, you know, right now we go through, we just had strawberries come in and out and we're turning to um, berries and cherries at the market and it's really fun to promote those sorts of things through social media. So that's the kind of stuff that we do there. It's really advantageous to us. Um, it's enabled us to reach a really large audience, and it's great. I love it. <laughs> well, you say the rewards are endless. Um, talk to me about the specific rewards that you've seen since April. Well, specific rewards we have. We've had um, really, really bad weather for our markets. Um, we've probably only had about five good market days. We have a market every Wednesday and Saturday from 7 to 1, and almost all of them have pretty much been rained out. Regardless, we have seen record numbers um, turn out. And even, you know, we had a really awful day this past Wednesday um, as far as it was about 60 degrees and raining the entire time. And we still had about 1,000 to 2,000 people show up, which is pretty incredible. Um, we have an event in July, our Chef Barbecue, where we bring in a bunch of top chefs from Chicago and they prepare food um, using food from our farmers, and it sold out in a month. Um, we're still two to three weeks, we're about two and a half weeks out, and we're totally sold out of tickets, which is just really great for us. Um, it's great as a promotional tool, like I said, promoting people, um, people's products, like I said, strawberries, blueberries, cherries. Um, right now, our season isn't quite running like it usually is because of the cold winter and then the cold weather now. So it's really cool to be able to say, you've been expecting strawberries, here they are, and be able to tweet that and then have people come at you, you know, 
to pick up strawberries. It's really, really cool. So well, I'm looking at some of the specific numbers that you gave me. Um, and I can see here that it says that since you started um, really maintaining the fa Facebook page and mm -hmm. the Twitter account, um, you've had a, a, tremend a tremendous amount of growth as far as followers and fans. And then Absolutely. you talk about these events that you're promoting. Is there any way to compare the attendance of bad weather days at the market to previous years when you've had bad weather days when you weren't using social media? Um, I'm sure there is. I can't say right now that that's what we're doing just because, you know, kind of getting those – the. Sorry, let me think about how to put this. We have had different management for the first 10 years. Um, and basically it was started by a woman named Abby Mandel. And she started to get sick and hired on Lyle Allen, who's now our executive director. And since he started, I think really we've started to do a great job of um, record keeping as far as keeping numbers and things like that. Um, but we've only had one full year to compare it to. Um, so as far as attendance goes, you know, I, we are seeing record numbers. We had 5,200 a few weeks ago, which is just fabulous. We were hitting about 4,000, 3,000 on a good day. I can't say that all of that is due to social media. We get compliments constantly about use of our Twitter account. Um, use of our Facebook account. I get emails constantly saying that it's a, we've done a really good job with that. Um, of course, our followers have doubled on Facebook and like quintupled on, or something on Twitter. Um, and I definitely think that that can be attributed to social media. We are about to launch a survey where we'll be surveying our uh, patrons just to see where they come from and how they hear about us. And I expect that a great deal of them use, especially the younger users and the foodies, like the bloggers, the food writers, the um, chefs and things like that will say that they use social media, our social media.